Studio Takatima came from a place of burning out. I'd been tattooing for 15 years at that point. We'd moved to the big city. Things were going really well business-wise, but I, I was just exhausted. Being a country kid in that sort of environment was sometimes just far too much for my brain. I didn't like going to work anymore. I needed a fresh start. We were at the studio like always, and when we weren't at the studio, we were mentally still at the studio. It was just getting to be too much. I was exhausted. I still loved tattooing, but I just, I just needed a break from it. So we started spending more time on holiday, having breaks, and going to the far north, to Matodi Bay, to Whangaroa, and we'd get away from that chaos and have this sort of break where we could have like a, sab a sabbatical, a wind down, and have this time to just relax and recharge. Oh, Lachlan! Can we keep him? No, <laughs> we should try and let him go. Lachlan Jordan! Oh, oh my God! And then when I went back to the city, I, I found it easier to tattoo again and to enjoy my work. The problem with that was it was getting harder to go back to the city afterwards. Uh, we were falling in love with the far north and our life up there. So we were dragging the holidays out, getting to a point where I was even cancelling work just to spend more time there and just kind of living in, in the campground and more simply. So then it came to a point where I had this kind of harebrained scheme that we could move to the far north. One day I just pitched the idea to my wife, I was like, why don't we just move here? And we got really excited about that idea and then started trying to work it out logistically. Is that possible? Can we just move to the middle of nowhere with a tattoo studio? Does that even work, you know? All of our clients were coming from all over the world at this point anyway, so what's another 30 minute flight? And the more we thought about it, the more we realized it's totally possible. And then we get to bring people here and show them this amazing place, show them Whanganoa and show them Matodi Bay and show them 90 Mile Beach. The idea was so exciting that we kind of got obsessed with it and just run with it and then made it happen. We made like a five year plan where we would buy some land and slowly develop it and move up to the far north and keep Shipshape going with Ben and Jay's taking um, on ownership and leadership roles and um, manning the fort and me being able to come back every now and then and, and work there with the team still but live my life in the middle of nowhere. We stupidly started looking at sections just to have a, have a look and then we totally fell in love with this piece of land looking out over Tata Tata and just out of Whangaroa and Kaio, then we had to just make it happen. We, we were like, this is the place. We, we, we're gonna get this place. I just fixated on it and I just sold everything and just made it happen. We got the land, it was very exciting. And uh, then we had no idea what to do with it, but um, it, was, it was really cool. A year later, my son had a gnarly uh, accident. We were scared that we were gonna lose him. That was, that was terrifying. It made me reevaluate like my whole life. And it, I went into work the next day and talked to Ben and Jace and said, hey, you know that, that five year plan of mine, I, I want to make it a, a one year plan because I, I just want to spend more time with my, my son and my wife. Uh, yeah, it was a very um, scary moment, but it was kind of um, a, a, an important moment. It made me realize that I was always working and I wasn't spending a ton of time with my kid. I was spending like time with my kid every day, but I was vacant, I was so exhausted. It made me realize that if I just talk about doing these things is, is, is one thing, but to go and do them is, is really exciting and important for my family. So the, the idea for Studio Takatimu came to be the idea to move to the middle of nowhere and to bring our clients with us 
to invite people to come and see the far north like we see it. We had to work out how to turn that into a workable system, into, <laughs> into something that's actually going to work for our clients and work for us. I started drawing houses and studios and coming up with plans and trying to think of ways to implement this was just like diabolical but it was super fun. I, I, I strive uh, under pressure and I love doing that. I love putting ideas together and seeing what how they're going to work. It, it came together super naturally and with the help of lots of people um, over the past few years and turned into something that we're real proud of and that's really exciting. The pandemic was a fucking pain in the ass because we were like hey let's move to the middle of nowhere and, and open a studio where people fly from all over the world and come and see it and then and then they were like no like a month after we fucking moved in they were like you can't do that for like two years or three years we were just sat in limbo going fuck we've made a big mistake but we, we were so happy that it didn't really matter like we were having so much fun gardening and fishing and like just living on the land and doing like what we'd set out to do that it was kind of magical and um a, a really good time nice and gentle yep that's the one see you later mate and now coming out the other side of that we're actually able to make the studio takitimi thing happen what seems like a year but it's probably more like four years or something we are now fully open and taking on clients from around the world and having people turn up from all over the place and booking from all over the place and then we've got m more work than we could ever ask for which is amazing and it's so cool to see the hair brain scheme become like um, a huge reality like it's, it's worked out really really well I can't believe it we came a point where we just had to just be like fuck it and just send it and start having people come and stay and the first people to turn up were just like holy shit like this is this is amazing and we so we were real critical of it because we live here and see all the faults but the the guests were just so happy to come and and see what we've seen at the start oh wow this place is beautiful look at the view it's so fun and relaxing to see people really love it and have a good time is, is awesome people often ask me like what do you do and it's so hard to explain it's like oh i, I do tattoos but come stay with me we we cook dinner and, and go fishing and um, sometimes we go camping and 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 you start rambling and people are like what the fuck are you talking about so we thought we'd make these videos to try and help explain what it is that we're doing here at studio takitimu well, there's a lot of hurdles because we are in the middle of fucking nowhere so we had to work that out like uh, how, how are our clients going to get around so we bought a loan car so that they could get around and see the far north for themselves. We started building this package basically to accommodate people, to make it easier for people to come here and have a good time and really kind of be able to experience the, the far north like we did when we were on holiday. Basically we provide a vehicle, we provide accommodation, we provide breakfast, we make lunch on the tattoo days because there's no cafe or restaurant to pop into and get something to eat you know we have a dinner to celebrate and say thank you for coming at the end we created this whole package so now we can have these people come over from anywhere in the world and have a holiday but not have to worry about anything each trip looks a bit different depending on the client the time i have the time they have free and um, a lot of variables so it's, it's different every time our most recent guest that we had was from canada and he was with us for like almost two weeks we're just pulling into the kitty kitty airport gonna pick up bron hey you made it good to see you bro he got tattooed for seven days because he's crazy <laughs> not everyone does that some people only get tattooed for a couple of days some people get tattooed for Four days, five days, uh, Bron is the first person to do seven. He's just excited to get a lot done. So this video is going to be about him and his trip. We're going to show you what a trip to Studio Takitimu looks like. Bron flew into the Bay of Islands airport and we picked him up from there and just basically did a bit of sightseeing and brought him back to Studio Takitimu and got him settled into the accommodation. 
gave him the keys to the vehicle and gave him a bit of rundown of what's going to happen on his trip. We asked from what, what do you want to try and do while you're in New Zealand? He was super excited about trying out some local cuisine and going sightseeing and going out fishing. Brom was lucky enough to time his trip in coincidentally with Matariki and that meant there was some really cool stuff happening in the area. So we took him out to one of our favourite restaurants, Terra. They had a nine course degustation menu dedicated to Matariki and it was incredible. Through the tattoo days, not, not much happens other than tattooing. We are, we're in the studio all day, so we get up and have breakfast and then get into it and we tattoo and just get as much done as we can to sort of optimise time and, and progress on the tattoo. We, we stop for lunch and make something really yum because you need that, you know, just a wee break in the middle I feel is important and having something really delicious kind of like is exciting and it gets you, gets your endorphins going and your dopamine going and you're like, yes, cool, I'm good, you know, I can handle a bit more. We just focus on those tattoo days being tattoo days and then on the days off, is when we do the fun stuff. It's so clear. Yeah. To celebrate having Bron here and to say thanks for coming, we had our friend Ken come and cook us an amazing dinner. With barbecue ribs and some Wagyu steaks and some delicious vegetables and just, yeah, it was, it was an incredible, an incredible meal. It was so good and um, it really blew Bron away. Then we were back to tattooing again for a couple more days and um, we got mad progress on Bron's back, laid the whole top section on and then um, yeah, that was basically the end of his trip. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this and uh, if you've got any questions or ideas for things that we could uh, make videos about then just chuck it in the comments, like and subscribe. That's what they say. I'm such a fucking boomer. Thanks for coming. Kaki te